All right, to make this, I've got some, just some scraps that I had lying around. I got four by fours cut at 12 inches, two of those. And then I cut some 45 degree angles. These will be used as braces. I cut them about eight inches long or so. And then I had to cut off the ends here to fit on the plywood that I'm using. The plywood I've got is two feet long and about uh, 11 inches, 11 and a half inches wide. Again, that's not crucial for the size. It's just what I had. I've got a couple of pieces of pallet wood here. It could be two by fours. They're tw uh, two feet long. They're gonna run on either side here. And then the other thing you're gonna need is some threaded rod. This is three quarter inch threaded rod. Again, that size isn't critical. It's what I had. Could be much smaller than that. I've got it 13 inches long, and this was from a previous project. Um, I have epoxied a handle on here. It's pretty easy to do. You'll see how I do this part um, in this video, but I ended up epoxying this all in, and then just a piece of wood with a dowel for a handle as a crank. And of course, I'm gonna need some nuts to fit this. The last thing I'm going to need is a leg tip. For this size I need the one and an eighth inch. Those will go over, that'll go over the nut at the end. Let me show you how I put this together. First thing I'm going to do is drill out a hole so that this threaded rod can go through one of the 4 by 4s I've got it three inches down from the top or nine inches up from the bottom. Okay, I got the hole drilled, and now what I want to do is I need to embed this nut in so the threaded rod can uh, go through it. And I just need to line it up so that it's perfect on here, and then scribe. And then use a chisel to get to that line. minute epoxy on this you don't need very much in fact you don't want a lot because you don't want it to get in the hole all right like I said just a little bit in here you don't need much you don't want a lot and I'm gonna put it on the top edge of this to try and minimize the amount that gets it down in that hole While the epoxy is drying, I will get this part made. So these are my uh, two by fours or pallet wood. And I just need to have two rails here. And I'm just going to clamp them in place. Turn it over. All right, so now I can uh, put in, this is the one without the, the nut in. Still waiting for the other one to dry. All 
Now I can thread this on. And then I'll put a nut on. Uh, I'm missing one nut. I need to pick one up and I can uh, jam them on so they're uh, tight. If you're going to do this permanently, you could just put a little epoxy on that. Right now, I'm just going to put this rubber tip over it. To use this then, I'll use this finished bowl that I have as a demonstration. Nice and tight. And be able to power carve on this. After looking at this, what I realize is this is actually taller than it needs to be. It'd be nice to be able to get a little bit farther down with the power carver. Instead of hitting here, I can go down a little bit farther. And then with an angle on there, uh, I'll get even a little bit more reach. So this is the top of the threaded rod where it comes in. So I'm going to go a little bit higher than that and cut this at about a 45 degree angle there. there. That gives me a bit more room to work on the outside of the bowls. Another clamp on here helped with some of the rotational forces from the power carver. Sometimes it wants to come up on you. So uh, it's just a second clamp on there. I just screwed a piece on here so I've got a flatter surface to clamp when I need to. I think this is going to work quite well. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.